New at 5.30 tonight, one deadline down, many more to go. The new Indy paper mill has met its first deadline after the state and federal regulators ordered it clean up that foul odor. Both the EPA and South Carolina DHEC demanded the Catawba paper mill make changes following more than 17,000 complaints of that smell, foul smell coming from the plant. We want to continue to focus on what people are smelling. As we continue to do that, WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner is giving us now a different perspective on this ongoing issue. We're, we're riding shotgun with Doug Barnes. Clear skies for our flight plane. Ascend about a thousand feet from ground level to get a bird's eye view of New Indy Container Board. It's loud, so it's hard to hear us talk. It's also bumpy because we're so low in the air. Being a thousand feet, you can see just how massive New Indies plant is. And as we bank towards the Catawba River, Barnes points to the area where New Indy discharges its wastewater. He does volunteer flights for the Catawba Riverkeeper, and he's concerned about what exactly the company is discharging into the water. DHEC is still in the process of testing water samples they got while on the river last week. The river keepers Brandon Jones believes what's being discharged from the plant may be causing foam to form downstream. The foam itself is just kind of a nuisance and it's unsightly, um, but we're concerned about what's causing the foam. And so we're trying to figure out the source of that is and then seeing if that has any other impacts to the, to the health of the environment. As he awaits the results of that water sample testing, the EPA and DHEC will continue to monitor the air above the plant, with the EPA ordering monitors at these three spots along the river. In a statement, New Indy says, quote, we are reviewing both orders and intend to comply with both in good faith as soon as we are reasonably and safely able. At Lancaster County Airport, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte.